In this video we will be covering the assembly of the fly led spotlights that you will find in our various kits. The process is more or less the same for our light kits, though the circuit boards will be different depending on which light you buy. For each light in the kit you should have a circuit board with components already soldered on, plus a heatsink, lens holder and lens for each spotlight, as well as a bag of hardware. If you've ordered multiple boards, they may come together as one piece. Break those apart by bending them backwards and forwards along the score lines. The single spotlight boards can be a little tricky, so you might need to pry off one corner at a time with your pliers, taking care not to damage the lead. Before starting, it's a good idea to test the lights with a 12 volt power supply. These are simple press end connectors, you just need to strip a quarter inch of insulation from the wire and temporarily hold the wires into the connector. Start by adding the rivets and nut plates. The single spotlights have multiple locations for these nut plates. Consult your instructions for placement as they vary between different products. The single lug nut plates may be a bit tricky to set the interior rivet. Use a flat set with your squeezer or just leave that rivet out. One rivet is good enough in this application. Using a pallet knife or a popsicle stick, add a thin layer of the heatsink plaster or glue to the heatsink. Try to get the layer of heatsink plaster spread as thin as possible while still covering the surface. Anything more than paper thin will ooze out and may cause problems later. Less is more here. Add the circuit board to the heatsink, aligning the holes in the board with the threaded holes in the heatsink. Next we add the lens holder, aligning the small pegs on the bottom of the lens holder to the corresponding holes on either side of the LED. Use the 2.5mm screws and screw them in by hand. Leave the unit aside after you've done this step for about 10 minutes. Carefully remove any excess plaster that might have oozed through the holes. If you spread an appropriately thin layer of plaster, you may not have anything come through. Next we add the black lens locating ring, which will help us get the lens in straight and avoid damaging the lead below. We find it's best to drop in the ring and then rotate it so that the mounting screws sit between two of the teeth on the ring, as shown here. Take a close look at the rim of the lens. There are four notches around the edge. Two are notched all the way through and two have a tab for engaging the hooks in the lens holder. Give the back of the lens a quick wipe clean and then rotate it so that the tab notches are over the hooks. Press down evenly on both sides until the lens simply snaps into place. Once the lens is in, test the light again to make sure it's functioning properly and nothing has been damaged. 